Hey guys, Buffer Gaming back, bringing you another video today for our weapon conversion series. And today we're going to be turning the newly released Ram 7 in Season 1 here, the Ram 7 into the Tavor Sitar SBR short barrel rifle variant. So, this is a pretty simple conversion, similar to the other TAR variants, as G36 variants we did. There's a few different builds you can make out of each of these weapons. So, let's go ahead and get right into that. We'll show you how to build it, check out the recoil, and then see how it handles in game against bots. Also, be sure to stay tuned near the end of the video. I'm going to be announcing our giveaway. This is going to be our first giveaway on the channel. We're going to give away two $30 gift cards to the console of your choice, whether it's Xbox, PlayStation, or if you're on PC, it'll be Steam or Battle.net, um, depending on which one you prefer. So stay tuned for that near the end of the video as well. So now let's get right into it. Here is our final build of the CTAR SBR. So let's strip it down. And first up, what we're going to do is for the muzzle, I'm going to go ahead and do a muzzle break on this. This is going to help with our recoil stabilization, and this is going to help control recoil for automatic fire, essentially. So the, the pro, obviously, is recoil stabilization. The con is ADS speed as well as aiming stability. We're going to make up for that elsewhere. Now, the key attachment for this CTAR build is we're going to want that Forge Tech Eclipse barrel here. So this is a lightweight extended front house 16 inch polymer rifle barrel so this is going to help us with our pros being damage at range and bullet velocity so the con again is ads which is going to make up for elsewhere now in real life the tavor Citar sbr has a 15 inch barrel so this being 16 it's going to be as close as we can get again they kind of give us mixed mixed numbers uh, in between as far as barrel lengths in this game so we can kind of make different multiple different builds per barrel so we'll do the eclipse for this barrel that's the one we want and then laser, we're going to skip out. Optic, whoops, I did, the, did I do the right barrel? Yep, okay. And for optic, what we're, we're going to do is go with the Cronin 2x2 Elite. So this is an advanced optic specific for the CTAR. You won't see this for the Ram 7. You won't see this on any other weapon in the game thus far at this point. So this is four times zoom. So it's going to help with your zoom level. Again, the con being your ADS speed. But this is essentially a the Tavor models come with a me pro 21 integral sights so it's basically a hybrid of that similar to the four times optic we see with the hollow flip sight here for the american builds so this is going to be the iwi tavor variant with the me pro 21 so i'll show that on screen as well so go ahead and do that the stock again this is kind of optional as well as what we did with the muzzle brake if you want to switch things up for a specific build you can go ahead and do that but i'm going to skip that and we're also going to skip out on the perk and for the rear grip, we're going to go with a simple pistol grip. This is going to help with our ADS speed as well as our sprint to fire. And it's only going to affect our aiming stability. But you see in the stats down below, it's not a big hit we're going to take. So we'll go ahead and take that. And then for the under barrel, we're going to want that mer the, uh, the Ranger 4 grip. So the Ranger 4 grip is going to help with our recoil control as well as our aiming stability. So the cons being the ADS speed and aim while walking speed, which... We can go ahead and take you can see in the stats it's not a big hit and our mobility is taking a bit of a bump but we get a big increase in accuracy range as well as control overall with the build of the weapon so those are our five attachments this is our tavor iwi ctar sbr short barrel rifle and again similar to all the ramp 7 or the tavor builds we have essentially what looks like a key mod handguard there um, so I'll link that again and put that in the video here for you guys to see. So the key mod handguard seems to be specific for this Ram 7 build to make it more um, modernish looking compared to what the, the standard Tavors look like. The TAR 21s and CTARs don't ha really have Picatinny rails. So this is the key mod gives it that quad rail you can see top, bottom, left, right. So we have that. The charging handle again is in the right place for the CTAR versus the MTAR was a little bit off. And other than that, pretty good build. This is a flat top variant, same with every other build we did for the, the Ram 7 or the CTAR. And you can see the magazine release there behind the behind the pistol grip, right in front of the the mag there. And the Cronin 2x2 looks pretty nice too. So just some quick things here. You can go ahead and throw on the 45 round mags if you want. Again, we've talked about this with these builds. The rate of fire is very fast, so you'll find yourself in situations where you're running out of ammo. So you you may want to put on that 45 round mag or even sleight of hand will be beneficial as well because you're going to get in situations where you run out of ammo. So make sure you either have that 45 round mag or you have a good secondary. But besides that, that is our Tavor Sitar SBR. 
Let's go ahead and check out the recoil pattern and then we'll get in game and see how it handles. Okay, now that we're in game with our CTAR SBR, let's go ahead and check out the base recoil pattern. First off, we'll just let it rip and we won't control it. So you can see there it's going to go up to the left and then kind of stabilize and go back up again. So let's try and control that recoil a little better now. So you can see right there, it does still want to have that horizontal recoil, so you need to kind of be mindful of that. There we are. We're able to keep it pretty tight. It is going to kick, but if I find like in-game for some reason you're able to control it a little better if you're aiming at an actual target. So there you can see. Those are all tight. Very tight right there. These two, essentially these three, those are all still body shots regardless. And if you're going at this isn't this is essentially a carbine variant, so SBR. So it's not built for range, although you're going to get more range than the base rifle itself. So again, those are all body shots. You can see still pretty tight. Then you get that left recoil there. There we go. So that is the recoil patterns for the CTAR SBR. You can see everything's pretty tight. You know, some of these are a little off, but if you're at a closer range, medium range engagements, which you would be with an SBR, those were all going to be kills, all center mass body shots. And it's actually pretty accurate at range still if you're going to tap fire, even fire off those first, I'm not sure what the multiplier is, but those first five shots seem to be pretty accurate. And then you get that obnoxious uh, horizontal recoil that you're going to need to compensate for. But that is this recoil patterns for the CTAR SBR. Let's go ahead now and get in game and see how it handles. Okay, now that we're in game with our IWI Tavor CTAR SBR variant, let's go ahead now and see how this handles any game. So again, we have that Cronin 2x2, which is a four times optic on this. The rate of fire on this weapon, very similar to how it was in Modern Warfare 2, is a very fast rate of fire. You can see right there, it definitely works pretty decent, even for... Oh god, even for hip fire. At a closer range. Obviously, we didn't build this for hip fire, and if you're going beyond very close range, it's not gonna be very well for hip fire. But in those kind of situations, it does handle pretty well. I do like this Cronin 2 2 Optic 2. I think it's a very clear picture. Not an it's a four times zoom, so it's not over magnified and it's easy to handle the recoil with it also. There we go. So again, this is the CTAR. So what this is essentially is a compact version of the TAR-21. The CTAR is a compact shorter 380 millimeter barrel version. So that comes out to about um, 15 inches. So in game we have the 16 inch with this Eclipse barrel that we selected. So again, that's as close as we're going to get. They kind of give us off-sized barrel sizes in this game, which is fine because we can make different builds out of it. So this is going to be the 16 inch barrel for the CTAR, whereas in real life we would have a 15 inch barrel. So that's really the only difference there. And you can see the rate of fire is, wow, what a way to go. The rate of fire is really fast. Very similar to Modern Warfare 2. Very fast rate of fire on this, which is where you may want those 45 round magazines. But in close quarters combat like this, with this SBR, which is what the build is built for, um, you're going to beat most people in firefights for the most part. Maybe besides NM4. And really, we didn't optimize this fully for ADS speed, but if we did, we would we would be we'd put some different attachments on there. Especially, maybe we wouldn't do this Cronin sight because maybe we wouldn't want a four time sight for running and gunning purposes. We would do something similar to Red Dot, but I do like this because it gives you a good picture, and you can see right there, I'm able to be very accurate with this rifle. That four time sight's nice and clean, and it allows you to be. Pretty accurate, especially at range. Now the CTAR again, 380 millimeter barrel. So in real life, it's 15 versus the 16 one we have here in game. So this this variant is intended for commandos and special forces. Um, it has actually become more favored than the standard TAR 21 within 
the IDF is really defensive for us. Whoa, got a duck down me. So the rate of fire on this, well, first off, the barrel length, as we said, is 15. The cartridge that the CTAR is capable of carrying comes down to, you can do a 300 blackout round is, is to come. It does have a 9mm conversion kit. And that would be the same as the actual TAR-21 as far as having different types. Whoa. There we go. So we'll also be able to handle the 556 by 45 NATO, the 556 by 30, 545 by 39, which is that Russian round. You can see they're very accurate at a re medium range like that, which is good. Easy to control that recoil at range too. There we go. So this is a long stroke gas operated rotating bolt is the action for this rifle. Right, so right there you see, I kind of messed up the recoil there, but I think we easily should have been able to take out that second guy. Recoil is really not that bad if you can get your first round on shot. You can usually control it pretty well. This guy's going to pop his head out. Maybe not. There we go. Now the muzzle velocity for this is 910 meters per second. There we go. Or I'm sorry, the muzzle velocity in the CTAR is actually 890 meters per second, so it's a little less given that the barrel is shorter, right? Versus the standard TAR-21 has that 18-inch barrel, I believe it is. So this being a 15 or a 16-inch barrel in-game versus real life, the muzzle velocity is going to be a, take a little bit of a hit there. Whoa! Oh, no. Now, the effective range on the CTAR, same with... Um, the standard other version of the Tavor is going to be that 500 meters, 30 round box stenag bag. It can also take a 45 in game here that we've seen, which you can see with a rate of fire is something that you may be needing. And then it has the, for optics, what we have here with the Corona is the ME Pro 21. And it's basically a hybrid of that with, a, with um, another two times magnifier on there. So unfortunately, this isn't a flip sight, which it looks very similar to the four times flip sight we see with the, the holographic version on the US side. But it's still, you can see right there, that range, um, that's really good, right? I think the recoil stabilization versus the four times flip is much better to control and easier to control on this, especially with this build of the Tavor. So I like this one a lot. Let me know what you guys think in the comments below. Again, this is the CTAR SBRs. This is the short barrel version of the Tavor 21. It's actually preferred in the IDF. And it is was designed for special forces within the IDF. So there we go. And it's honestly the way we have this built is basically a laser. So... Big shout out to the chat for assisting with some of these attachments today from today's live stream. Uh, Kenny Barr, Levi, some of the other guys there. We kind of played around with different attachments on rifles and we basically came to the conclusion that for almost all builds, like a, a Ranger foregrip and a muzzle breaker are going to give you best recoil control if you're sustaining automatic fire, which is what we're doing here. So I tried out a few different attachments on this and this seems to be... You know, a very good build for controlling recoil. And we did something very similar with the G36 the other day also. I swear there was a guy here, right? No? So let me know what you guys think of this. Also, be sure to check out the other Tavor videos we did with the TAR-21 as well as the MTAR X95 the other day. And this is going to be the CTAR. There's also a DMR variant that we may or may not be able to make. I need to look at that more. Oddly enough, the rifle does come with a three-round burst function in-game, which is not... Um, it doesn't do that in real life. So I think maybe they're giving us more options there. Maybe it'll make a DMR variant of the rifle. So I'll have to look into that as well. Now... Leave your comments below what you think of this build. If you like this one, have you used it? What other attachments you may prefer over this? Also be sure any other builds you want me to convert in the game, any, whether it's variants or conversion kits, let me know and we'll play around with it and see if we can do it. 
Oh boy. Now for the giveaway time, right? So we are approaching 7,000 subscribers and we grew really, really fast and I really appreciate all my subs tuning in the live streams, comment on the videos. So it helps me out a lot, you know, getting, growing the channel here and you guys have helped me grow a lot so I couldn't have done it without you. I'm glad everybody loves the content. So what we're gonna be doing for the giveaway is comment a, first make sure you're subscribed, and then secondly, comment on this video, the G36 video from yesterday, and then also tomorrow's video, and the giveaway will go throughout the week probably, and I'll, I'll announce, I think we're going to go today, yesterday's video, and tomorrow's video. So comment on this video what console you are, whether it's Xbox, PlayStation, or PC, and then we're going to do a $30 gift card for each, so there'll be two winners, comment on this video. Make sure you subscribe, comment on the video which council you are, and do that on this video, the G36 video from yesterday, as well as tomorrow's video, and then we'll go ahead and pick a winner. So any questions, leave them down below, and until next time, Buffner Gaming, out.